life lessons. They can negatively impact us or positively impact us. That, and it really all depends on the choices that we make. Well, good morning to you on this Monday morning. Our reading today is in Numbers 24 through 27 and 1 Corinthians 13. And I've entitled this devotion this morning, Life Lessons. And as I said, they can impact us negatively or positively, uh, depending on how we choose to respond to them. In Numbers chapter 27, verses 6 and 7, there's just really an interesting, although it may seem quite uh, quite insignificant, uh, couple of verses of scripture that are, are really important, and they speak to life lessons. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, The daughters of Zelophehad speak what is right. You shall surely give them a possession of inheritance among their father's brothers, and cause the inheritance of their father to pass to them. Now, of course, this is the provision that is made for these five daughters of uh, Zelophehad, a man who did not have any sons, only these daughters. And so um, Moses petitions the Lord about them to find out what he should do about their particular situation. So you could look at this as if God had maybe not anticipated this question or problem arising or sort of made a decision on the fly. Well, that's just not the case. The reality is that God knew all along, long before time, and he knew what he would do. He knew what the situation was and how it was going to be resolved. He was merely giving Moses, I think, and the people of Israel um, the option of trying to do things in their own wisdom, uh, their own strength, or of bringing the matter to him and trusting him to lead them in the matter. I like that. There are a couple of lessons that I want to just speak to for a moment about this. First of all, I, I think there is the lesson of God's care for the people who could have been left out of the blessing. Uh, the situation was, uh, the rule of thumb was that the inheritance would pass to the firstborn and he would be the recipient of the blessing and, and all that goes with that which would include the possession of uh, the land that they were on and all of those kinds of things. And that would always go to the firstborn. So they could have missed out on that altogether because there were no sons born to him. Uh, so secondly, there's a, there's a lesson of trusting God for everything. What did Moses do when this situation was brought to him? He didn't try to deal with it on his own. He brought it before the Lord and asked God what he should do. Isn't it amazing that God answered him and told him what to do about that situation. Uh, I mean, just a couple of, I don't mean this uh, in a derogatory way, but just a few girls here, you know, and they could have easily just been ignored and not given any credibility at all or any uh, uh, preference to them at all. But God cared for them. And that's a great lesson for us individually. Uh, that we can trust God in everything. He knows our name. As the song we sing says, he knows our circumstance and our situation. And so there's a lesson there of trusting God for everything. That's They brought it to Moses so that he could take it to the Lord. And then thirdly, there's the lesson of being approachable. And even those uh, things uh, that could seem in, insignificant in the grand scheme of things, being approachable about those things. And what does it say to us about God? Uh, he cares about even the small details of our life. Is that important to us? Well, of course it is. I mean, it may be insignificant and unimportant to somebody else, but it's important to you or to me. And it's also important to the Lord. Uh, I love that. So uh, it, these lessons are, are life lessons for every person, I think, who names the name of the Lord Jesus Christ as uh, Lord and Savior. Every person is important to him. And he knows what we need. These daughters needed something of substance for them because they were going to be left out according to the rules that were laid out before them. But God knew that and he took care of them. And I don't know where you're at this morning wondering about the care or the concern of God for you. But here's a passage of scripture that tells you he cares about you, knows what's going on, and he will take care of you and you can trust that. Amen. May the Lord richly bless you. Give you a great day today and this whole week. Amen.